we got ourselves a tournament arc. One of my favorite things in anime. I don't care what genre it is. It can be sports. It can be like music, even Hibiki, you know, Euphonium, that is a tournament arc, right? Fucking idol shows, I don't care, just give me the drama, give me the motivations, everyone's backstory, everyone competing, but only one can win, the tears trawling down. Is Makoto gonna do something though? Because it's mostly our students, and Makoto's like, tilt meter has been kind of like, building up more and more. When is it all just gonna blow up? Let's find out today's reaction. Ow! Jesus Christ, it's loud! Fuck, that was actually so loud. Right, our students are seated against each other because they're pretty much like cheating up from above. <laughs> I don't know. Something about just like elbowing her in midair. That's nature competition. In order for a winner, there needs to be a loser. There we go. A fierce tournament. Wait, wait, wait. The highest level that kids at this school is 97. It, when we first went to the guild in season one, Tomo and Mio were already triple digits, but like, is this a pretty good level range for like these kids right now? 97? It's probably really good, right? I can't just compare these kids to like, Tomo and Mio were four digits? She, I thought they were like triple. I thought they were like 600. They're four. And then Tomoe did go like train a little bit more, right? Tomoe did go and train a little bit more. Holy shit. And the level system, uh, wasn't there like a funny thing where the cap is like the maximum um, integer cap of like a 16-bit or an 8-bit system? And that was, that was like stated by Root. And the whole leveling system was to make the humans feel a level of um, greed and ambition that leads them to killing themselves. And this is the way that we kind of like maintain the, the overpopulation of humans or some shit, right? That's so fucking funny to me, dude. Root's just like, oh, you're leveling? All right, come on, get more hyped up, get more hyped up. You know, go fight some monsters and you're going to fucking die. Jin Rohan versus... No! Jin's probably going to win, right? Where's the blonde guy, man? I want to fight him. <laughs> Oh, these dolls are acting as like scapegoat for damage. They don't actually get the damage inflicted. It's all passed on to them and it cracks, then you're done. Cool. Therefore, the using the wooden sword is just to spite us because even now, like even if we use real weapons, it wouldn't fucking matter. I get his comment. <laughs> Overkill and then all three. What if you go beyond this? What if you inflict a damage that's the equivalent of like breaking four of those and you'd only have three of them? Does that mean you would take that leftover damage to yourself? Self-supporting spells. So many different nerfs. So many restrictions. Hajime! <laughs> what? Shiai Kaishin? That's a new one. Shiai Kaishin. I thought they always said Hajime before this. They go Shobu. And they go Hajime! This is all mental games? That's not very fun, right? But I'm sure Mitra wanted that, right? Really? Tomo always says that Mitra should have won? Wait, that, that was a high level match. Really? I mean, all we saw was a bunch of fucking, you know, wooden swords smack around, but if she's saying this, that's pretty huge. He won the fight but lost the match. I kind of see what you're saying. Both sides are probably frustrated. Mithra looks happy. Jin's like, alright, I'll take it. <laughs> Bro! The magic duelist is two idiots just casting! But holy magic! Oh god, it's grand for your strength! Why? And then they both fucking shoot and just... <laughs> this is a mess, bro. <laughs> damn! Not that we should look down on orcs, but damn, Mio! Yeah, everyone else loved this shit. Obviously, this is gonna look like child's play to us. Oh, Rembrandt's sister or the girl that's thirst over Shiki? A melee mage? 
早い回避と同時に栄光を終わらせるあの動きアローの追尾を予想してましたわねはあ<笑> They both are better Yo, they're both getting good Uh oh, uh oh, Rembrandt's sister, she's going in. Give up. Rembrandt wins. Shifu Rembrandt! In a real fight, though, who would win without any restrictions?、Mm, that's, the, that's the interesting thing about this, right? With all these different restrictions and rules that in place, it's not a real you know, battle to the death. Shifu might win the mage category. Cool. Uh, roots and a bunch of rich, cocky motherfuckers. <laughs> she really think we bought our way where? Come on. Dub Lily. I, Lily is kind of sus. I like her though. She's so fucking hot. I hate that she's associated with, you know, the fucking Tamauki or whatever. At least she also shits on Tamauki. But hey, fuck these nobles. Talk your shit, Lily. Come on. Shut your mouth. I bet that kid could beat you. Is it underhanded when he uses his mobility to dispatch demons from the skies? We're talking about Tomauki demons. I didn't know he could dispatch demons from the skies. Could he? I've seen him fly shit like that. Demons. Is it just like metaphorical? He can actually like. Dispatch demons with this mind control stuff? Is that what she's talking about? Dispatch to dispatch demons from the, his mobility to dispatch demons. Okay, so this is the actual kings, right? This is the actual kings, right? So, whatever Lily Kingdom this is, these are all the nobles. This is Princess Lily II. And then this is the actual king. And this is the crown prince, maybe? We still don't. And, and the queen, oh, I forget exactly what happened to Lily's mom. There was some shit that happened earlier in the episodes that I forgot. And then there is. So, second princess implies there is a first princess, unless it just means second sibling, and this is the crown prince. I don't fucking know. Yo, fuck the hero. <laughs> fuck you, bro. Yeah, talk your shit, Root. Goddess is blessing. Cheating. Different king. The king is from Limia. Lily is from Gratonia. Thank you for the detail. This is not Lily's king. Gotcha, gotcha. Whatever you say, fanboy dragon. Locking in? The shield! Oh, just using like a shield wall. Bro, just fucking walk around the fucking wall. What are you doing, bro? She's behind the fucking What are you doing? You don't have to stand there, bro. More infighting on our side. Two! Two statues worth of damage there. Yeah. Okay, maybe we're underestimating Jin. Jin does seem like the main character of the group since the beginning, right? He did seem like he was the leader by default when we first got the student. Mage category again. <laughs> this, guy, <laughs> this is not the eyes of someone that's about to win, bro. This guy realizes, ah,、oh, shit, I'm about to get fucking job right now. I made it all the way to the finals. Why does it gotta be this girl? She's whispering something. <laughs> She was whispering something! <laughs> That's why he was looking like that. This is too easy for her! Come on, yo, referee! That's fucked up! She's like, Simpan, referee, it's over, right? The referee's like, Statues are still there. You gotta kill him. <laughs> you gotta fucking kill him. Alright, if you say so. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Oh, she's even thinking beyond to tomorrow's matches. What? 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 They all want Sensei's acknowledgments. I mean, I mean, you just say, look at me. Like, I mean, Makoto straight up told Jin in his head. He's like, I mean, Makoto was like, damn, he's just using reinforcement during those specific moments. His instincts are crazy, so he already acknowledges him. Blonde guy? Blonde guy? What is this fucking battle pass?
us armor looking at we have a wooden sword and bro brings in the fucking cash item shop bro what the fuck we have a wooden sword Referee, hello? Hello? This is fucking rigged. Come on, Jin. Oh, wait, that was way too quick! What? <laughs> he went in with so much confidence that we just disarmed him in the first try. Uh, Shosha Jin Rohan. Magic? What is that? Some kind of reinforce. <laughs> Again. No, 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 it's not over yet. No, 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 no. Is this intentional? He he tapped him, right? He's disarmed him and he's tapping him on the head so it doesn't crack. Because if it cracks, then he loses. It's like, no, 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 no. We're not done. We're not done. <laughs> the referee's like, nah. Let these kids. Get You're not dead yet. Let these kids fucking fight. Wait, he's getting serious. Behead him. Kick again. Kick again. That's so clever, man. That's so clever, right? We raise the sword up. He's fucking terrified both times. He's like, he gets the guard up. It's like, nope. Stomach kick. Get the sword up. Nope. Yo. The wooden sword fucking made a cut on the armor, man. I'm sure the sword is like reimbursed, like uh, imbued by some kind of uh, mono. Either that armor fucking sucks or Jin is really fucking good. That's a crazy pose. <laughs> that, that is an insane pose to do as you fall before your opponent, bro. Look at his knees. Bro, that is an inch. That's wild. That's crazy. <laughs> Woo! Applaud! They're all shocked. They're all fucking embarrassed. Cowards. Let's go, Jin. Looking like a real protagonist. That's a steroids. The steroid pills. Oh, mage versus swords. I don't want to. I don't know who I want to win. Tai? Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Okay, she's fucking cracked. This is not even close, is it? She's just toying with them. I thought that Jin would be able to keep up, but this is... Yeah. It's just magic, you know? What are you supposed to do, right? So, just like in Mushoku Tensei, right? Just like in Mushoku Tensei, a mage is gonna have... You know, advantage if they're in range, like if they're out of range, right? Obviously. But if the swordsman can close the gap, then it is pretty much a swordsman's, you know, that's their win condition. But right now, obviously, it's just, it's over. Rip. There's no shame in losing to her. Damn, but the Rembrandt thought her won! By the spellcasting beauty. Okay, okay. You got like a title now. Mm, the team events. What's going on, Rembrandt? The dignitaries of every nation. So a bunch of elites have gotten notice of the Kuznua trade and it's kind of a problem. This bitch, oh yeah, exactly. Why does she care about the Shiki, bro? It's like everyone wants Makoto's fucking approval and she's just like, what about Shiki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's the restrictions here? Interesting. That's kind of interesting how this level cap is now going to have us in a numbers disadvantage. But this, at the end of the day, three really high level people versus like, let's say, six low level people that all amounts to the same level. I feel like quantity will lose out to quality. I don't know. What's going on, Lily? <laughs> Lily acknowledges Makoto's teaching abilities. Lily wants Makoto, huh? I mean, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, just a simple merchant, guys. Okay, Zara Hardis. 
leader of the Rothgard Merchants Guild branch. Okay, so this guy is like the head of the guild branch. What do we do wrong? Are we basically doing too well? Why are people upset? We're trying to lay low and do our own shit. Investigate. Who the fuck left a one-star Yelp review about the Kuznoa merchant shop, bro? What the fuck just happened? They're doing an audit on us? They're probably scared, right? They're definitely scared of the expansion and the way that we're scaling our business. It's like, what the fuck is going on? This new guy showed up, bro. Are we directly working with any demon right now? We were working with Rona before, but that was not really merchant stuff. We're getting gaslit. We're, it's a convenient excuse. It's kind of a partial truth that they're just kind of putting it onto the merchant stuff now. The temple. So the te oh, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. So the temple actually vouched for us, huh? The temple guaranteed the quality and the production methods of your products as well. So I was shitting on the temple because, you know, isekai religion usually bad, but the temple seems to have clutched for us. Jesus. Ah, the mist portals and stuff like that. Can we explain to them what a mist portal is? Like a mist gate? Are we allowed to tell them? I don't know. How does that work? Because the transportation of goods, that is suspicious, right? Where is the carts? Where is all the fucking distributions and stuff? It is sussy. Uh, teleporting them through mist gates. Yeah, we can't. The demi plane is like. It can be obscured through Rembrandt trades. How are we going to explain where we're selling the banana though, huh? Right? The persimmons or other fruits from Japan that was placed in the demi-plane because of Makoto and, you know, the contract. Like, how do we explain what the fuck a banana is to them? <laughs> it went from a meme to a, a foil! Oh, it's a part of me just wants to kill all the guild people and just, you know, take over as the guild lead, bro. Fuck them. Fuck them, dude. We just, I just want to operate on our own, but we need to work in the system. It's probably not in our best interest to just kill them, you know? Fuck. <laughs> Makoto! <laughs> Who told you this? Yeah, what do you want, bro? They're just fucking jealous. They're just jealous of our high-speed transport. They're just jealous of our raw commodities, bro. They just want a piece of the pie that we have. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Can we pay you off? Kind of. We did indirectly kind of admit that when he offered that and we said, can we have money instead? Kind of. I mean, we didn't say yes, but it is kind of implied. Logical trap. This guy's pretty good. This guy is pretty good. They're all jealous, bro. They're jealous of our bananas. Nah, let him cook. Let him cook. You know why? Because every time this show has been fucking peak, was when Makoto got so fucking mad. We have been building up this tilt meter. This tilt meter is just like pretty much full and it's, it's just like going beyond bro. Oh, we're so close to the pop-off moment. Come on! 90? Fuck you! That's, in, that's unreasonable. Oh, we're kind of talking shit. We're kind of talking shit. Wait. Hold up. If we set stalls outside cities, you'd be unrestricted. Is he actually kind of cooking here? Well, well the humans. 
it's a huge market, right? It's a huge market of humans that we want to capture too. And they probably wouldn't be willing to go outside all the way. Unless our goods were so good though. Just destroy all of the shops. Destroy all of the shops. Fuck the guild, bro. Why? What happens then? Ah. Fuck them all, we wipe out all these people. We maintain a monopoly on trade and we sell to humans, demi-humans, and demons. Why not? Ugh, fuck dude. Bro, he hit him and go back to see, dude. I would kill him right now. I can't. I can't. Act on your impulses. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. We really have to take that shit and leave, bro. Fuck me. Did we tell? どうすれば Oh! Oh, hey, 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 yeah, I've been saying that from the beginning, man. This could be an opportunity to abandon humankind. Fuck them. But not all humans are bad. We have seen good humans. Rembrandts are great. Our students are great. Some of the humans that we've worked with, they're Good people. Most of them are trash. But there are some good people there. I don't know, man. Do we just work with demi-humans and, you know, demons instead of the humans? Agreed on that point, Mio. But abandoning humans. What about that? We already have Rona over there, right? そういえば魔族とつながりを。それでも僕は。And that's the the other place that the blue hair girl is from, though, the glasses, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. How we're going back to where our parents are from? We're like going back. To our homeland. Isn't it under some kind of capture? Don't we have to like free our land? <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta skip that? Come on, man. What did you say? Alright, we'll get to know later. It's a secret. Yeah. Side with the demons. Fuck you, goddess! And that's the episode. Hey, first part was basically a tournament. And the tournament arc was pretty fun. There were some really frustrating moments of how all these different bullshit rules kept on being created by the opposition to make us look bad. But even so, we won the tournament. Well, you know, uh, Shifu did, right? Jin was really cool too. Man, we... This, the, the embarrassment that this kid got, bro, immediately disarmed, immediately disarmed, kick, kick, back, you know, just tapped his head so that, you know, his thing wouldn't shatter. Oh, it was so fucking good. But, you know, that next episode or something, when we have the team battle, he's gonna do some unhinged shit. Wonder how that's gonna happen, since there's gonna be three versus many of them. But again, I feel like in a situation like this, if you have three level 90 whatevers versus, like, six level 30-somethings, I feel like, you know... Quality matters more than quantity. The second half, very infuriating with the guild master guy. It's like they're just jealous of our profits. They're jealous of how quickly we're rising up and scaling our business, making us just like give them all our secrets and, and they're shit talking us the entire fucking time. Fuck these garbage humans. But at the same time, 
we can't just abandon all of humans. There are some good humans, but I've been waiting for an opportunity to actually go develop some relationship with demons because they don't seem like bad people at all, right? So it looks like this is getting into the next arc where uh, we're going to be not abandoning humankind per se, but establishing, you know, our relationship with the demons and reclaiming the land that our parents were from. So this is kind of like poetic, right? He's basically going back to the origin, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlist. Uh, oh, oh. And until next time, take care.